everyone welcome back to my channel so today it is October 21st Friday 7 59 p.m. I just showered and stuff I've just been hanging out and just like chilling all day um, I got this really cute new pink juicy couture robe it's so fucking cute and my other robes are like dingy compared to this so I just need a new one and I figured I'd buy it also yesterday I got my lips done I haven't gotten them done since last March um, when I was getting all of my like filler dissolved and re-put back in and like whatever and so since then I haven't gone back and I noticed recently like how much smaller my lips were looking in comparison to what they looked like before and I didn't realize that it was so long ago so I booked myself an appointment spent the freaking money whatever it's an investment <laughs> for me to look gorgeous but yeah I got my nails done too, um, my toes done the day before. I'm off tonight, I work tomorrow night, and then tomorrow night I get done at 1 p 1 a.m. And at 3 o'clock in the morning I have to leave to go to the airport because I'm going to Florida uh, for like five days with my family. Um, to go to Halloween Horror Nights and just chill and go to the pool and all that kind of fun stuff, so next couple of days are going to be stressful, so I'm just going to sit here and film this nice video for y'all. I'm, like, contemplating going out tonight. I don't even think any of my friends want to go out, but, like, sometimes I get, the like, just the feeling, like, the vibe. I'm, like, sometimes I just get the craving to go out. I don't really like going out that much anymore. I think it's because of me living where I live. Um... But, I don't know, I'm feeling like I kind of want to go out. We're obviously going to smoke. I already have a little J rolled up. Um, and I'm going to smoke a little bit of this. And we can just talk. And I'm going to start my makeup after. Oh, I also got this really cute guest makeup bag. I got this from TJ Maxx yesterday after I got my lips done. Um, this is also where I got the robe from as well. But it's just this cute, like, light mauve pink and I guess cream, but honestly, I don't even know. Uh, makeup bag, and I'm feeling like ultimate fall vibes right now. Anyways, cheers, everyone. My lips are feeling, honestly, not that sore. My bottom lip, like, feels pretty normal. It's like this one spot right here that's really tender on my lip, and almost like same on the other side in the same spot. Um... But yeah, I'm honestly a little scared to put on lip liner. I might do it with like a brush or something so it doesn't freaking hurt. Cheers, y'all. my eyebrows like a little touch up oh my god yesterday when I was going to get in the car on my lips done I had to leave super super early in the morning because my appointment was so early and I literally ended up being an hour late which is ridiculous to me but I left at like six something when I went to go to the car I opened up the car door and I don't know I don't I've never done this day in my life but I when I opened it I whacked it right on the middle of my face and thankfully I was wearing my glasses so it like covered my eyes but it whacked me so hard right here and I have like a little bit of a bump and a little cut right there of course we got to get into our little ah, therapy session how has everyone been feeling recently so many feelings recently and I almost like don't even know how to categorize a lot of them. I feel like I've been living the same routine for like a while now. Like I've been almost working at Hooters for a year and it's like I want to grow more. I want to do more. I want to do more with my life and if you asked me a few years ago if you thought that like I don't know if you thought that I'd be where I'm at I probably would have thought that I'd be doing more or would have achieved more or other things like that and I know I have so much things so many material things to be thankful for and just my TikTok that I've created all by myself with 
without a fucking shout out from someone and without recognition from other people and whatever like I've, I've grown these things for myself but I often uh, still feel like I'm not doing enough and I feel like that's a very constant theme and feeling that I've had in my life like for forever but I'd say these past four years that's how I felt a lot like it's always like it's never enough I just that's how I feel I'm very hard on myself but I feel like that's the only way for me to be because I feel like the only thing that really drives me is negativity as fucked up as that sounds I, I feel like it does the thought of me never achieving the things that I want or like the absolute worst outcomes that's what motivates me to do more and keep going I feel like these past few years like I've learned so much so freaking much and I've been really gotten caught up in a lot of relationships like it seems like that's what these past few years were where it just felt like it was almost about other people more than it was about me and that's why I have become celibate and chose that for myself and it's not like I'm saying I'm choosing that for my whole life obviously but it's been six months now <laughs> um, so cheers to that I guess um, and I almost still feel the same same way I did before it's just now that there's not a fucking distraction in the way um, is anything that I'm even saying making sense I really hope that it does I hope the shit that I say in these videos makes sense because on my YouTube I really I really truly say how I feel I'm gonna start our makeup but I also still want to talk about this I'm liking where we're going here with our little talky talk um, just to pause the talk for a second, this is what I use as moisturizer, the La Roche-Posay Double Repair Face Moisturizer. It has SPF uh, 30 in it. I'm going to start out by priming the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. This has been my fucking favorite primer since high school. I also really like the Milk Hydro Grip. I haven't used it in like fucking probably like a year, honestly. And also, I use a lot of primer. That's how you get non-cakey makeup. And if you don't have a good primer, a good moisturizer. But I need like the double step of moisturization just because of how dry my skin is. Um, and I am someone that powders the whole face. So, there was a method to my madness. I know a lot of people are like, you don't need primer. I would never be caught dead without doing makeup without a primer. I'm so sorry. Like... And we're gonna go in with Too Faced Born This Way 24 Hour Matte Foundation. Yeah, I'm just wetting it with some of this. And I really need a new concealer. I have another one that has more in it, but whatever. I'm just putting this over any like dark spots that are fading. Just makes you not have to put on as many layers of foundation. A little darkness right there. I also like just put tanner on my face the other like two nights ago. So it'll like darken any, you know, hyperpigmentation or anything you have. That's that little cut. So I don't even know if I've talked about this before in my videos, but I feel like this goes into the stuff I was saying before. With like how I almost thought that being celibate and not having men in my life or anything like that I thought that it would um you know fix a lot of my problems but then it's like oh that doesn't just solve all your problems it's like you ha actually have to like deal with them I'm about to get very vulnerable and like this is I don't I don't like speaking on this topic but it's it's really my truth so I might as well and it, it's just it's the truth like what the fuck what am I gonna do why for what purpose what do I get out of that like I could sit here and like not talk about my life but who the fuck wants to just watch another person putting on foundation like bitch no one cares about that that shit is boring basically this time last year well actually like yeah so this time last year I was going through a really bad breakup and I'd say in the end of November 
I met a new guy and like immediately jumped into something. Um, and so I never really got to heal, I think, from that really bad relationship that I was in before. Yeah, so then I jumped into that other freaking thing and like that guy, he was a great guy. Just was completely consumed with that and then I, I think when that ended months and months later I wasn't expecting it to end and I almost had gotten so and on this new guy that it felt like when things ended with him it almost I felt like the weight of everything crashing down on me like of both things which is the weirdest thing I, I have never experienced like feeling upset and like processing things with two different men I know that sounds crazy but I just I never processed for months and months and months while I was with the second guy what happened with the other one and I and the other one I was with him for way longer and really horrible things happened to me in that relationship and so it felt like the second guy was like some kind of an escape. So then I feel like I spent the summer uh, quite depressed. I'm not gonna lie. Let me grab a towel. Hold on. And I, like, I don't want to air all this shit out, but it's not like me airing shit out. It's like my own story. Like, what do you want me to do? Like, you know? I went through traumatizing fucking things in my life or in my past. But regardless. For the summer, I feel like, yeah, like I was really, I was feeling the pain of everything in the summer, but I was just kind of numb and I just wanted to forget about everything and like, that's why I just like went celibate. I was like, okay, like I'm just, I, at least I won't distract myself in that type of way because I haven't had like casual random sex like in years with just random people like. I feel like I kept getting into like long-term type of things so that just wasn't even an option um, and yeah so I spent the whole summer kind of like depressed numb um, and all I really did was work and be by myself and I still don't this is really light but well it looks really light with this tanner but if I don't have tanner on this shit it's so dark but whatever um, not even going anywhere. Well, I don't think. Unless I randomly decide to go out. But I doubt it. Um. And so I feel like the beginning of this fall, I feel like I'm finally still trying to, like, process things and let go of things. And I almost feel like I, like, would start to get flashbacks. I know that's, like, a literal sign of, like, PTSD. But, like, let's just not talk about things like that right now. Um, I haven't gone to therapy and I know that I honestly, like, I needed to, especially from the relationship before the second guy, whatever. Um, but I never went. And shit, maybe if I did, maybe I would have processed this stuff, but I don't know, for some reason I feel like, I just feel like I can't move on and grow in my life if I don't work through these emotions because I feel like for so long I've just pent everything up and just like you know what I mean no. I'm a little high so like the way I'm explaining it doesn't really make sense but hopefully you're catching my fucking drift at least but for some reason I just feel like I feel like that's what's stunting me in life honestly and I'm just like emotionally tired like I just feel like I want so many things and it's just like sometimes I just feel like I just don't have it in me like I'm not strong enough for the fucking fight sometimes and I just have to keep reminding myself like that this isn't a time in my life to like wish away that I'm gonna look back at this time in my life and be so envious of it. I need to find my other concealer because that has nothing in it. Give me a moment here. Like recently I've I've honestly thought like oh maybe I should like get back out there. Like why 
I don't know why I, I feel like I sound like a fucking like divorcee I'm literally 22 years old I, yeah I don't know I feel like life has aged me man what can I say um but I don't know it's been in a funk for a bit that's how I've been feeling very funky and not like funky fresh like in a funk though. um and it's like I go back and forth I go back and forth between feeling really good about myself and really really confident and I'm like I don't have to have everything figured out like I'm getting there like blah 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 but it is like my biggest stress lovely just wasted all that makeup to restart because that shit was playing like a motherfucker I've discovered that if you leave that moisturizer on for too long and then like then start your makeup that it pills so that off and I'm just going straight in with this primer because it's so moisturizing so I should have no issues now but that was really stressing me out so I just literally had to restart like it was just one of those moments where I was like fuck this bro like I literally cannot because it looked horrible like I don't care even if I don't end up going anywhere like hello Jesus itch Christ I'll be back after I get my foundation and concealer and powder and brows on and then we'll smoke more and talk more all right you guys are a little bit closer but i just did my brows um let's just get back and know what the fuck i was saying before basically i'm almost like frustrated with myself that i think that i even have to deal with like the emotions or any of the trauma in the first place i feel like i'm angry about it because I feel like one it should never happen to me in the first place and two like it's I feel like it's been so long that it's like I feel like they should have just went away you know what I mean like all of it should have literally just disappeared and I feel like I'm just annoyed that it didn't um so I don't know, I feel like I've been processing that recently and like I've been trying to be kind to myself but for so long I thought that if I just hardwired my brain to not think about things in my past or whatever that I'd be okay, that I could like move on, let go of the trauma and the pain from it. So I've been going through the motions. The a lot of emotions. So I've been going through a lot of emotions recently, I think, and like also same time processing the most recent guy and like it's just a lot to process at once and like I don't know. Been very introspective recently. So I sat under my eyes with the uh, Fenty Beauty powder in banana. I think it is. No, it's not. It's a freaking lie. It's in butter. And then I'm using the Too Faced translucent powder to set the rest of my face. For so long I just tried to pretend like I had gone over things and I worked through things and it's like I couldn't because I was already moved on to someone else, you know what I mean? And then um, when they weren't in my life it's just it's like Damn, everything hit me all at once. And I feel like I'm finally admitting it and, and dealing with it. And it's frustrating because it's almost like old news at this point. I'm trying my fucking best, you know? I'm trying my best. I'm trying my hardest. Before those things happened, I was already like depressive in the first place. Like I felt like I dealt with like fits of depression when I lived in LA, which I didn't understand because I was like, I feel like I have finally have everything I want. I'm acting 24/7. I'm living in LA, like, and it just it just turns out that there's always work to be done. There's always work to be done with self love and your mental health, and you know what I mean. Like, you just. I don't know, keep letting life pass you by and don't ever properly heal from things. It just 
the wound is just gonna get deeper and deeper and you know what I mean and more shit's gonna happen to you so as almost frustrated I am with myself that this is something I'm even still dealing with um, because I think it's embarrassing almost like even like talking about it because I feel like people don't talk about things like this and like at least for the most part I don't see people talk about things like this online but because I feel like hookup culture is so prevalent and like especially online all these girls now are talking about becoming like the guys and just like I don't know just completely changing their morals to like not get their feelings hurt and it's like I don't I don't want to have to do that I, I don't want to have to put up with all that like I want to oh shit I dropped the I dropped a joint. Who's cheating on me? Huh? Who's cheating on me? But like, I don't want to have to deal with all that. I want to be healed. And the next thing that I get into, I want that person to be healed as well. Like, sorry. And I just, like, I don't have time for like meaningless, like little hookups. I don't even want to. Like, I don't want to give my body to someone that I don't at least like um a lot and like feel some type of way about like if that's not the case and i don't want to do anything with you so like i don't know i'm just like really trying to figure my shit out like that's what i've been doing really trying to figure my shit out although it feels like i'm not making any progress i have to keep reminding myself that i'm doing the fucking work you know the work that needs to be done before i can live the life that i want to live and live the way that i want to live and I just feel like I make things hard on myself sometimes. It's like, I feel like I could be doing all these other things and it would like completely distract me from this and like whatever, but I feel like ultimately like I'm being called like this is what you have to heal to absolutely flourish and go into the next chapter of your life. That's just how I feel. I'm gonna charge my camera for a second. I know I was saying this would be like an in-depth makeup tutorial, but really just turned into a therapy session. Juvia's Place. Uh, bronzer in light <coughs> is what we're using and I'm using the darker color um, and then for blush I'm using Kylie winter kiss just in case I'm not able to show you because honestly I might charge my camera and just come back on and finish smoking winter kiss or like maybe I'll finish my eyes and I'm doing Ofra star island highlighter this is so dirty and disgusting but that's the highlighter this is the cheek face combo um, and then I'll be back after that or hopefully in the middle of it but I don't want to wait too long and wait all night to make this video so I am back I did my blush my highlight I did one eye of my eyeshadow just that way I could like do a little bit off camera and then whatever just because I wanted my camera to charge as much as possible so I'm gonna show y'all how I did the eye moment whatever I'm starting off with this Too Faced Light My Fire palette I fucking love this palette I've had it for like of well over a year now and it's so cute I'm first gonna start with this shade which is actually this really pretty like orangey brown color I don't know how well these colors are picking up on camera oh it looks like it is a little bit go in with this yellowy shade next and buff out the edges with the same brush just a lighter hand um, just to get a little bit more of like a gradient color. I'm just gonna blend really lightly. And I like to smoke it out and bring it out far. Cut that after, but I do like to do that. With this chocolate brown shade in it. It's really pretty. And I'm just gonna do that in like my outer crease, but then also pull it in right here and just buff it up a little bit into uh, the crease of my eye. Just place it like that. And then I'll buff it out. Blend everything out with just like a creamy colored shade. I don't really reach for this palette, but I ran out of all my cream shades and all my palettes, so I'm taking this Laura Mercier one. I'm just gonna load up this brush. Oh, wrong eye. And just go in there and really go in i'm gonna like re go in with the other shades as well but i really like a light pronounced uh brow bone i'm gonna go in with that same cream shade and just pop some on my leg um 
Yeah, it's, it's a lot better if you like cut your crease and everything like that. But honestly, I get lazy a lot of the times when I get to my eyeshadow. And I find this works just as well. And honestly, it's not as, it's more smoky when you leave it kind of a little undone like this. Um, you don't get quite as much pigment, obviously, because you're not laying down a base for the light color. But I'm just going to keep packing this on and build it up. I'm going to use this like skinny little flat brush and I'm going to use that same like chocolate brown shade oh wait first I'm going to do liner that's what I meant first I'm going to line People always ask me about liner. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner in black. They last forever because of like how thick the pencil is. Okay. But after, I'm gonna go in with that brush that I was talking about and the cho chocolate brown color. And I'm just gonna like first stamp directly underneath my lashes. I'm gonna take a little tiny brush like this and that yellowy shade and just buff out the edges. It just creates a really beautiful look. Cause if it's one thing, bitch, I stick to what I know looks good on me. My eyes are pretty much done. I'm just gonna definitely add some like highlighter, um, and obviously lashes and and lower lash mascara. This is like a classic Amanda look. The colors we have, we've got going. I'm gonna go in with like this bigger brush to do highlight under my brow because I've discovered that I like it kind of blend it into my makeup because I always use matte eyeshadows that's one thing where I've decided like I don't know I do use shimmery shadows sometimes but only like ever on my lid but other than that I like it pretty matte and I like neutral looks but I'm gonna do this and I'm just like draped over I'm scared to do my lips. My lips are pretty swollen. I mean, I got my lips done yesterday, so. It has been like 24 hours, but. I'm yeah, I'm still gonna, I'm gonna put this back out. I'm actually gonna take my <laughs> multivitamin I got. Some days I forget to take this, but anytime I'm sitting here, I remember to get. And put a little highlighter. This is NYX New Truffle. I'm scared this is gonna hurt. My lips are so tender, so. Thinking I might like paint on with an eyeshadow. Oh my god, it's like almost identical. That's crazy. I feel like that was a little dark for what I've been liking recently, honestly. My lips are so freaking swollen right now. Like I can't properly line them for the life of me. Okay, here's an update. I finished my makeup. Zeusie, please stop. Look in your wall sack in my bed. Um, I finished my makeup. I think that we're gonna go out. I don't know. Now I'm eating garlic knots. I need to do me hair. Shut the hell up. Hope you shit yourself right now. Hey, should I take a bubble bath? <laughs> yeah, do I take a bubble bath? Shut up, you ass. What the fuck? <laughs> 
It's so hard to eat this with my lips. I need to like rip this apart. For easier consumption. You're looking really oily. Sorry I'm chewing my mouth open. I literally can't chew any other way right now. I've got a mojito now. I'll do a taste test of that in a moment. <gasps> Why is my makeup messed up? What the F U C K? Did you see that? When did that happen? I'm gonna end the video here. I just finished getting ready. I wasn't, we actually, like, for a second weren't gonna go. Now we're gonna go again, so. Oh my god. I love y'all so much. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful night.